morning. It's Vlogmas Day 12. This is not the best, but at least I'm hands-free. Just putting on my SPF. This stuff is really good. Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protector Lotion Synchro Shield. It's expensive though, so you know. You get what you pay for, I suppose. Today's Tuesday. Nine days left until winter break, including today. Yesterday was kind of crazy. So hopefully today will be a little bit better, but I don't know. And do you remember when I said, I think all my kids are gonna be here? They pretty much were. Um, there was one kid miss who was still sick. But I went from having like 20 kids last week. I have, I have 25 in my class. I went from days where I had like 19 to 20 to having like 24 yesterday. So it was kind of what I thought it would be. But today's little celebration thing is Ugly Sweater Day. This is my favorite thing ever. It's Stranger Things and it lights up. And I've had it for years and I'll be so sad the day that these like lights stop working. They're motion censored. And it's also so perfect for an elementary teacher because of like the alphabet on it. There's like a hole. I don't know how that happened, but I'm gonna keep this thing until like for as long as I can. I love it so much. I wear it once a year, but I love it so much. Back on my diptyque eau de well. The concealer that I've been using just ran out. Mini review is that this is good. I like it a lot, but I don't love the packaging. Uh, I need a wand for my concealer, simply. And I would say it's like medium coverage, like, I mean, medium to full, but it could probably stand to be a little. I've had some breakouts this month and this hasn't quite cut it. But now I get to try this new puppy, Lancome Tentadol Wear All Over Concealer. I for sure picked this up during a Ulta sale. There's no way I would just pull, pay full price for this, but it's a nice product, so I'm excited. Ooh, so I'm excited to try it. Um, I realized, oh God. What? Such a pain in the butt, you guys. Let me make it better. I realized that I should have tried it on camera with you. The very first impression, it has a nice big doe foot. It was a little dry coming out of the package. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna like be the case or what. I mean, it's blending out pretty. It's like dewy. I kind of feel like it's also a little bit almost like a medium coverage, like similar to that. Uh, let's cover that and see what we can do. Similar to the NYX one. So it's like a big alligator. Uh. By the way, I don't really support Jeffree Star anymore at all, but I have some of his stuff and this mirror is a good one. So, I mean, I don't know. What is your guys' favorite concealer? I love trying new ones. For the longest time I used Tarte Shape Tape. Very original, I know. <laughs> what was I using before that NYX one? Now I can't remember, but I've tried, <clears throat> I've tried the Rare Beauty. I hear good things about the Kosas one. Um, I really can't remember what concealer I was using before that NYX one. Well, it's probably because I have a massive amount of empties in my room that I need to, this is the Kosas Cloud Powder, by the way, that I need to film a, an empties video for, so. Maybe my old concealer is in there. And then I'll remember. And now I have something else to add to it. But, all right, well, I would love to sit here and talk to you, but maybe I wouldn't, because quite honestly, part of the zen of my morning here is watching my podcast while I do this. And I can't do that while I'm talking to you. But um, hourglass bronzer, dirty packaging. So I'm gonna go, but I wanted to show you that concealer. Gosh, I do love makeup though, okay. If you have any bronzer recommendations, let me know too. I, like this one's almost gone. I have several, this is so ugh, bougie, it's Charlotte Tilbury, but I do like it quite a bit, but. Well, I mostly like the packaging 
not mostly, but I really like the packaging. It's gorgeous. I like how big it is, like how giant the pan is. The formula is really good too. It's just like buildable and blendable, but I'm definitely like open to, you know, I just always love bronzers. Um, yeah, this, this, this is going to be my empty soon too, man. I don't like rebuying fancy stuff like this, but all right, now I'm just rambling, so I'm gonna go. Bye. Um, you know it's not, but it's 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 close. Tuesday's done. Look at all those crafts. It was a good day overall. We had some moments, but good overall. I will take it. And he's not off. Hi, Mr. Mima. <laughs> He's taken it upon himself to start writing the teacher's name next to the special. He's not oh, off. Like, what is this? He just has an extra eye Like, here. he just has been copying. Cam he just runs up here and yeah. writes and writes stuff on the board. Hey, and you know, that and doesn't look bad. And I'm like, okay, bad. well. <laughs> elf. What are we going to do, Mr. Mama? Elf. Oh, yes. elf money. Elf, do elf dollars. Look, so I wrote that, and he took it upon himself to come up here and do that. Dollars. This child. Hallelujah, I'm home. I mean, pretty early for me. I think it's like four right now. 30 minutes ago or like 20 minutes ago would have been even better, but. Okay, so this is like my little this week thing that I was showing you. I guess there's nothing on here that I like need to hide. <laughs> you can see it if you want, but. Oh yeah, so tonight there's a Suns Warriors game. I put to work out on here today and I might, but I'm not gonna go on a run, I don't think. I don't think I have that in me right now today. But maybe after I have a snack, I can do some kind of workout. I still need to get some stuff in order for like Christmas. I think I was telling you that yesterday. And I'm going to not show you my shameful overflowing laundry basket over here to my right. But I need to do at least one load of laundry. So I think I'm going to like derobe, if you will, like take off my school clothes and take off my, my pickups, jewelry and just like, I don't know. That's what I do when I get home. I change into different clothes, take off all my jewelry put my hair up if it's not already up, reapply perfume because I'm a freak, but I might not put back on the dip tea. I might do something else. I don't know what. Maybe this, because these are over here to be like specially like for the season perfumes. It's my Jo Malone White Moss and Snowdrop. And then this one is from Lush. It's called Love. It was on sale. So there's a sticker there that clearly... Or was it on sale? I don't know. Maybe this was a gift. I don't remember. No, I think I got it on sale. But I, I don't know if Lush actually does this one anymore. Also, that's what the updated packaging looks like for their perfumes. Remember I said that if you watched the other day's vlog, this is also a Lush perfume, but this is like an older one. But I have no shame in my keeping perfume past the expiration date game, personally. Oh, this one is so good. I never don't want to wear it. So like maybe that one just because it's so good but oh wait or do I do this also yes this is fully just for me to be at home and I'm like what perfume should I put on this is alt fragrances which is like a knockoff brand and this is called cherry smash which is supposed to be like Tom Ford lost cherry well that's pretty nice I might put that on either love or lost cherry or hey maybe a combo Oh, we did it. We did it, Joe. Packs a punch, man. I love her. Mad fit. Um, let me hit pause. Mad fit is one of my favorite YouTuber workout girls. She does a lot of really good dance workouts and a lot of like Taylor Swift songs and other people too, but yeah, that was great. Okay, I think I might make a mocktail right now and then maybe do a little bit of reading and then have dinner soon. I can't, I did start a load of laundry. I'm like screaming because I can't hear you. But I cannot, um, I cannot put it in the dryer yet because we have like uh, hours on our power usage here. Like it costs more money if you use it within like the busy hours. And 
that doesn't start until seven where I can like move it to the dryer. The washer doesn't like affect it too much, but the dryer uses a lot of power. So I think while I wait, I'm gonna read. Like say what I plan to do in the future and stuff. And medical school is like crazy. Basically like you do your four years, I mean, this is oversimplified, obviously not in the school, but you do your three years, like two of them, I know are like one class of like, and you do like two years, so like rotations. And then you also together, of course, and we will have been together for like four or five years. That's All right, it's mocktail time. Love it. The vibes are right. All right, guys, I read a little bit. Not as much as I would like to. I can be very distracted. And I've warmed up some chili, and I'm going to sit and keep watching The Last Thing He Told Me, which I think I told you is a book that I listened to on Spotify, like audiobook. And it's a series on, well, hello, it's a series on Apple TV and um, it's with Jennifer Garner and it's really well done and I want to finish it. I think I have three episodes left and then I want to post my review of the book and the show. So I'm going to eat. I'll check in in a little bit. Okay, I'm soured and strapped in. There are two more episodes of the show. I don't know if I'll be able to watch both of them right now. I'm probably gonna want to. Yeah, this one's called When We Were Young. Okay. Okay, so the penultimate, or like the second to last episode, just ended and it was so good, especially the way it ended. I have to watch the last one. Even though like I already know how this ends, but they're doing this show really well. And there are like subtle differences for the most part. It does actually follow the book pretty well, but I'm excited to finish. Yes, I love, Reese really just knows what to put her money into, you know? She chooses good projects, I feel like. Because if I didn't say, or you didn't know, Reese Witherspoon's company is behind this show. Can't remember if I said that, probably already did. Okay, it's done. That was really good. There was one small change at the end, unless I'm like, forgetting a part of the book or misremembering or didn't catch it when I heard it because I listened to it on audio again, but I don't think so. I think they made a change and yeah, that was really good. Okay. I recommend the book and I recommend the show for sure. I don't know which one I liked more, probably equal amounts to be honest. Maybe the show like a tiny bit better, but I don't know. It's hard to say. Also, it might count differently since I did audio and not actual reading. I don't know. That might be a controversial opinion. What do you think? Do audiobooks count as reading? Like I count them in my yearly like book, like books that I like read or whatever, but also not. They're like different to me. I don't know. <sighs> Guys, it's getting late though. I, I think I need to go to bed. I wanted to unbox the Ulta Beauty package, the second one, and the Amazon packages that I still haven't freaking unboxed, but I just don't think tonight's that night. It's already so late. So I'm gonna end the vlog here, and maybe one of these days we will unbox the packages. Ay, 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 tomorrow's Taylor Swift's birthday. So I need to figure out what I want to do to celebrate. I'll let you know. Love you. Subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.